What are opposing penalty kills doing, uh, at least to this club, in terms of maybe limiting its effectiveness on a game-to-game -game basis? Do you think, Mitch, that maybe you guys can overcome and, and start moving forward toward November? Uh, I think our own power play hasn't done a great job of entries. Um, you know, I think we've gotten better over the last couple of games, but um, I think it's the same thing as always in our mind, you know, getting shots to the net, trying to get the second opportunities there, and I think our puck speed's got to get better and something that we've been working on. And, um, and I feel like the last couple of games it's been better. It's been, it's been getting better, so just keep, uh, keep trying to get better in that area. Club's defensive responsibility improve without expensing offense at the other end, do you think? Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, you know, at that last game, our turnovers were the reason that uh, a lot of their goals went in. Oh, no. <laughs> um, you know, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but, uh, you know, mistakes happen. Um, you know, you learn from them. I thought, uh, I thought in the second period we played our game. You know, we kind of took over, and that's how we got to start playing our full games. Last was just talking about his focus on trying to improve defensively, and earlier this season, Coach Babcock said he thinks he's got the potential to be the best two-way center in hockey. What sort of potential do you see in Austin as a defensive player? We always talk to you about his defensive skills. Yeah, um, a lot. I mean, uh, you know, getting to watch him out there every day. Um, you know, he's always on the defensive side of the puck. He's always working to get back. Um, I think just, uh, you know, any forward on our team, I think uh, our main focus is always talking to the D and trying to figure out who's got who, and uh, he's done a good job of that so far, and, um, you know, he's, he's just going to keep getting better. What stood out to you about Kerfoot now that you've been playing with him <coughs> a little bit more? Um, he's a bit of a bulldog. Uh, he, you know, he's, he gets around the net. Uh, he's very good at finding the second opportunities around the net. You know, he's, uh, he's great down low in our own zone, and um, coming through the neutral zone and no zone, you know, he drives the middle well and, and draws guys into him and you know, gives open space on the side walls for making plays. What's it say about Morgan that he hasn't been able to practice the last few practices, but he's still out there logging the big minutes and doing what he does? Yeah, um, he's a big part of this team, so it means a lot. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of funny. He's kind of, I haven't said anything to him yet, but he's kind of pulling the Bozy from like two years ago it was, I think, uh, when Bozy was just, uh, you know, on that program. So um, it's something that's funny you can joke around with him with, but... You know, he wants to be out there with us. He wants to be battling, and um, like I said, he's a big part of our team. So it's great having him out there on uh, on a daily basis with us, and um, you know, he makes our team better. Do you notice when someone like Bieber's behind the bench during a game, or are you still locked in that? Um, yeah, I, I didn't notice until I think it was our last TV timeout. Um, I was sitting, I think it was beside Ray, and um, I usually look at the the screen to see what happened to play before or anything like that, and. Uh, popped up that he was there and, um, and you know didn't really pay too much attention of it. I think it was right before we got kind of in our huddle to decide you know on six on five what was going to happen what we were going to do so um, I was kind of locked in on that and um, I didn't want to I think uh, you know lose my focus.